full seat. Cross-legged or kneeling, readjust whatever clothing draws your attention and then close your eyes. So meditation can be very powerful and it helps me a lot in, with intention setting. Rather than living day by day and specifically now it feels very repetitive in some ways, you can color in your life and the choices that you make with setting an intention. Maybe today your intention is to be patient, maybe today your intention is to be extra kind, you know, like we celebrated Mother's Day yesterday, it's just an acknowledgement, it's just like, okay, today we are paying attention to the mothers, but you can do that within your individual life, you can do that within your individual choices and habits that you have on your mat, but also off your mat. So maybe today your intention is to drink a lot of water, it doesn't really matter, something that you want to work on and something that you'd like to change. something that you might need as a, a little bit of an extra support, something that you can pay attention to. And let's now pay attention to our breath. So breathe in nice and slow and breathe out nice and slow. Preferable breathe into the nose. So breathe out of the nose. That's called Ujjayi breath. It's a powerful, victorious breath. It smoothens out the breath. It can help you find a rhythm to the breath. And if it gets too intense, you can always exhale out of the mouth. It's a nice release. A gesture of connecting our hearts and also acknowledging each other is to just place your palms together in front of the heart. And this gesture for me has become even more important now that we're not physically in the same space. So with my eyes closed, I can almost feel you here with me, even though we are not together. But just acknowledging your beauty and your willingness to come to the mat and be the best version of yourself every day, just trying over and over again. From a grateful heart, let's bow our humble mind to our heart. And then it's come immediately into a tabletop. If you haven't put your playlist on yet, put your playlist on. If it was already on, fine, because the first song is nice and gentle. And then start to come into a bit of free movement. So if this is new to you and you're like, I have no idea what to do, cat cows can be nice. So cat cow, you should look up and your tailbone comes up. This is an inhale. And then an exhale is a rounding of the spine. But then once you start to feel comfortable, you can be more creative. Create a couple of circles with the hips, maybe lift the leg behind you. It is really just feeling into the body, maybe noticing some sticky bits. As I said, I was working in the garden quite intensely yesterday, so I can definitely feel that in my lower back today. It just means I'm going to care for that. So it's a check-in physically and then really connect the length of the breath, make the movements around the same length. So you probably start to slow down in your movements. We'll have around three to four more rounds of breath. And then just open your eyes and you can bring the weights or your little bottles of water or whatever you're using for a little bit of resistance. You can split them and put one at the top of your mat. If you don't have weights, don't worry about it. Anatasana, opening of the heart. Hips stay above the knees, hands come forward, press your chest down towards the floor. Lift your head and slide it to an elbow plank. You can keep the knees on the floor or you can lift the toes off the floor. Whatever feels good to you this morning. Fantastic. One more deep breath in. And then bring your knees to the floor. 
floor, Sphinx Pose. Three breaths here. Open the heart, relax the bum. One more deep breath in, press the elbows into the floor, and then drop the nose to the floor. Hands next to your ribcage, tuck your toes, tabletop, breathe in, plank pose, breathe out. Walk your hands, walk your feet. Your index fingers are parallel to each other and parallel to the long edges of the mat. Let's meet in downward facing dog. You can pedal your feet, move around a little, or stay still. And you can also choose to close your eyes. We've got three more breaths here. Full stretch, feel into the body, feel into the sensations of the body. And notice your breath. Whatever your intention is, whatever the reason is you come to your mat, the why, the why behind everything you do is very important. It gives meaning and it gives purpose. Alright, take a deep breath in here. And a sigh out, exhale. Inhale, lift both heels up and away from the floor as high as you can. Exhale, hover the knees just above the floor. Press your chest back. Inhale, come forward into plank pose. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Lift your hips, heels press down to the floor. Two more like that. Inhale, lift your heels, nice and high. Exhale, hover the knees just above the floor. Look forward, plank pose. Inhale, shoulders above your hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. Yeah, looking good. One more time, with the length of the breath, inhale, heels lift. Exhale, hover the knees, arms are extended. Come forward, shoulders above the wrist, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your tailbone. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Now you step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward and grab a set of weights. Bring your feet hip width apart. Chair pose, Utkatasana. So the feet are parallel, there is some space between the knees. And we start nice and simple. Stand all the way up and add a tricep dip at the top of your head. Yeah, nice. When the weights drop behind you, make sure that you are strong in your core so you're not leaning into that lower back. So when the arms go back, really keep this nice and straight. So the weight behind you, don't pull into the lower back. Do another six. Strong pull. Nice. Five. Four. Breathe out. Three. Two, one, lowest point, point the elbows in front of the knees, bicep curl, straight spine, maybe lift the toes. Two, three, look at the horizon, good. Awesome work, keep smiling. This is Monday, five, four, feel the shape, feel the strength in the legs. Three, two, hands to heart center, take a deep breath in. Fold forward, drop the waist, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plank pose. Ten push-ups here on the toes or the knees. Off we go. Elbows next to the body. Ten. Look in front. Nine. Eight. Strong core. You can drop the knees. Remember, you can adapt according to what you need. Last four. Three. Yeah, looking good. Two, downward facing dog, full stretch. Deep breath into the nose. Sigh it out. Shh. Right leg lifts, three legged dog, breathe in. Knee to your nose, mountain climbers. So you start to jog on the spot. Keep your shoulders above your hands. That's it, Medina. Keep moving. I can see you. Keep moving, keep moving. Yeah, don't stop, don't stop. Awesome. That's it. Last 15 seconds. Stay with it. Stay with it. Move your body. Feel your heart rate. Speed it up. Come on, find that edge where you're challenged. For five, four, three, two. Downward facing. 
facing dog, lovely. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, leg then. Exhale, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Grab your weights, stand all the way up, weights to heart center. Lovely. Find a weight in your right foot, bend the right knee slightly. You can have one weight above your head, one weight at your waist, or a little bit more, both weights in your left hand. Take a deep breath in, elbow to knee, 15, 14, 13, that's it, 12, 11, maybe the toes hover off the floor, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, good, reach to the right fingers if you're using two weights, 3, 2, Divide the weights, come into your chair pose, take a deep breath in, and then sit a little deeper, exhale. Now cross the right knee behind the left. Right knee behind the left, good work. Bicep curls, come back to center. Other side, inhale, exhale. Bicep curls to center, sit into the heels, little squats, bring the weights in front of the heart, that's it. Breathe. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Last six. Five. Move the body, sit down, lovely. Three. Two. Stand all the way up, weight in your left foot this time. Both weights. Or one weight, look up to the horizon, keep your chest nice and broad. Take a deep breath in, off we go. Knee to elbow, two, three, find your balance. Hold the weight into the waist if you're using one weight. Yeah, fabulous. Keep breathing. Six, five, four, three, two, Excellent, both weights in front of the heart. Take a deep breath in, fold forward, exhale, drop the weights to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, let them plank pose, exhale. This time, bring your hands wider than the mat, so they're on the floor. Then lean forward, so your wrists, elbows and shoulders are in line. 10 push-ups here. This is for these beautiful chest muscles. They will keep your breast in the, in the same space, in the same spot. Up we go. Eight. Knees or toes. Seven. Breathe up. Six. Five. Four. Good work. Three. Two. Hands under your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Normal plank pose. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Left leg lift, three-legged dog. Take a deep breath in. Knee to your nose. Off you go. Mountain climbers. 30 seconds. That's it. Run it out. Run it out. Run it out. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Let's shift that energy. Let's kickstart our day together. Halfway. A little faster. A little faster. Keep breathing. Shoulders above your wrist. Bring the weight forward. Come on. Five, four, three. Woo! Nice. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Feel the heart rate. Feel the temperature of the body. Feel the sweat. Feel your breath. This is how it feels to be alive. Yeah, alive and strong and healthy. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, find your weights. Halfway lift, bring the weights to your heart. And then step your left foot to the back of your mat for a lunge pose. Readjust.
So you feel nice and stable. Good. Add on the bicep curls. 15 repetitions. Two. Three. Four. Drop that back knee. Look at the horizon. Last 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Sink a little deeper. Yes. That's it. Feel those legs. Three. Two, one, lean a little forward, jog on the spot. Jog on the spot, left toes tap to the floor, bring the knee next to the other knee. Keep your weight moving. You can also do this without the weight. Shh, 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 shh. Breathe, that's it. Stay low, open the chest, focus your eyes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, that's it, six, five, Four, three, two, step it back, take a deep breath in, drop the weights to the floor, exhale. Toe heel your right foot a little bit out to the side, and now come into your fingertips. Look forward, breathe in, pyramid pose, flex the right foot if you want, or flatten the right foot, hold for three breaths. You can also drop your head, or keep it nice and straight. Active recovery. Yes, come back into your runner's lunge and this time bring the hands flat to the floor. 30 seconds, switch lunges. If that is too much, step. Step to the front of the mat, change the legs. Or press into the hands and change. And change and change and change. Let me time that halfway. <laughs> Press into the floor. Yeah, that's looking good, Medina. Awesome, Nadia. That's it, Nini. Keep going. Five, four, three, two. Both feet at the top of your mat. Find your weights. Come into your goddess squat. Your elbows can be on the knees or on the inside of the legs. They're both fine. Just notice what feels best for your ankles and your knees. Yeah, smile on the face. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> now we stand up all the way up to the top. Open the arms. Horizontal, above your head. Sit back down. Yep, off we go. <sighs> Open. If the opening is too much for your shoulders, just do a 90 degree, also fine. <sighs> Work those bodies. Yeah, let's stay fit and strong and focused. 10, nine, eight, seven, yeah, nice, six, five, Feel the breath. Come on, challenge yourself. Four, three, two, all the way down, weights to your heart center. Take a deep breath in, fold forward, weights to the side, feet parallel. Inhale, halfway reflect them. Plank pose, exhale. Chaturanga practice. On the toes or on the knees, you breathe in, shift forward, exhale, 90 degrees or to the belly, upward facing dog or cobra pose where the tummy is on the floor and then downward facing dog. Lift it up, awesome work. Bend your knees, look forward, exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Wonderful. Inhale, halfway lift, neck them. Grab your weights, exhale. Halfway lift, hands to heart center. And then step your right foot to the back of your mat. Find your shape. We'll add on our tricep dips this time. Knee to the floor, right knee to the floor. Yeah, drop the weights behind the head. Again, if you have a sensitive lower back, maybe stick to the bicep curls. Open the chest. That's it. Fabulous work. 
six, five, four. Drop the knee a little deeper, keep the front knee above the ankle. Three, two, hands to heart center. Lean forward, off we go. Jump, jump. Navel in, focus your eyes. Keep the weight of your body above your left heel. Keep breathing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Step back. Take a deep breath in. Drop the weights to the floor. Exhale. Nice. Toe heel your left foot a little bit wider. Fingertips. Look forward. Breathe in. Wiper your pose to breathe and recover. Feel the heat. Breathe. Maybe close your eyes. Check in with yourself. Refine your breath. Slow down the breath. All right, come forward into your runner's lunge. Place the hands flat or stay on fingertips. Off we go, 30 seconds. Option to step. Working in mobility, flexibility, Stability of your joints and cardiovascular. You get it all. You get it all. Come on. Work for it. Last six, four, three, two. Manasana squat. Grab your weights. Weights to heart center. Make sure your heels are on the floor. So otherwise, just place your elbows onto the knees. And now we're going to do hip lifts. You can have the elbows on the inside or on top. So breathe in, lift your hips, breathe out. Yep, there we go. So you're either here with your elbows on your thighs or your elbows are in the inside of the knees. Two options. Good. Keep your bum up and down. I know, I know, I know, we feel this. Ten. Nine. Woo, feel the burn. I feel it too. I just pretend. <sighs> I feel that too. Keep moving. Five. Four. Woo, three. Aye, aye, aye. I know. Two. Fold forward. Weights to the side. Inhale. Halfway. Lift. Let them step back to your plank pose. Exhale. Inhale. Prepare for Chaturanga. High plank to half plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. A minute of play time. Play time can be a simple footer, can be donkey kicks, can be child's pose, can be anything. Donkey kicks, you really get your heart rate up, play around, or have a sip of water and recover. Yes. 45 seconds. This is your chance to shift energy, to work your heart rate, to burn some calories for five, Here there's no core control. 
So it's almost your shoulders go first and your hips lead. And then the hips go forward, shoulders. If you want, add on the weights. 20. 19. 17. Good. 16. How far can you go? Keep the tummy nice and strong. Yeah. Press the toenails into the floor. Press the shins into the floor. I think we've got 11 to go. Last. 10. 9. 8. Feel that sweat. Last 7. Come on. 6. 5. Knee above the ankle. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, woo, two. Your right leg is in front. Your right leg is in front. Take a deep breath in. Warrior two, slice it open. Right toes point forward, left toes slightly in. Hands, weights to your shoulder. Look at the right knee, keep it safe. Take a deep breath in and then stand up. Now you can check the alignment of the right knee. Right underneath your right arm, it tracks in the direction of the toes. Yes, press into the outside of your left foot as well. Five, come on, come on ladies. The ladies on you this morning, keep working. Three, two, star pose. I'll mirror you, so bring both weights into your left hand. So the easiest is to have the palm open, one on the top between the index finger and the thumb, and then cross the other top of the weight in between your index finger and the middle finger. And then you have a nice grip there. If you want two weights, otherwise one weight is enough. Good. Sink down to lift up. Reach to the right fingertips. Why? It helps you open your chest. Open the collarbones. And now your gaze is at the horizon. Yes, yeah, sink a little deeper. Ten. Nine. A little faster. Squeeze the bum. Breathe. Six. Five. Four, three, two, weight to heart center, lift your heel, pulse. Ten, nine, eight, that's it, seven. Feel the heart rate under your hands. Breathe. Four, three, two, heels down, stand up, breathe in, turn your toes in. Now, if you feel very much out of breath, Keep your head above your heart. If you feel fine, then cross the weights in front of your face on the floor and come into a forward fold. We have six spreads here. If you want to do an inversion, a handstand, a headstand, you can. Otherwise, use this time to recover. Close your eyes, maybe even. <sighs> If your feet are up in the air, please bring them down and meet us in a wide-legged forward fold. Together, inhale, halfway lift like that, and then find the weights and bring them to your hands. Everybody, please bend your knees a little bit. Bend your knees a little bit, and then bring your elbows to the knees to start with, and feel how straight your spine is, and that your chest is almost parallel to the floor. And then you can drop the weights in front, roll your shoulders back, back, and then it's too open, too close. So it's one, two, three, four. Open, squeeze, down, together. One, two, yeah. Suck your navel in. Exhale when you open the wings. Last, ten, yes, nine. Straight spine, eight. Strong legs, seven. Six. Shoulders away from the ears, five. Four. Three. Come on. Two. And one. Halfway lift, breathe in. Softly fold forward, keep your weight, breathe out. Turn your toes out to the side, bend the knees, and weights to heart center, back into your star pose, look to the right foot, come to warrior two legs, one time reverse your warrior, inhale, remember your hands down to the floor, bring them onto their high, high position, right foot just behind, knee taps behind knee, that's it. Bounce it up as if your mat is on fire and you do not want
going to burn your left toe. So the back part of your mat is on fire. Yes, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All the way down, bring the left shin to the floor and come to a seat. I will mirror you again. So take a deep breath in here. You can extend your left leg and then twist to the sides. Just take three beautiful rounds of breath here. Oh, I can feel the sweat dripping along my face, along the side of my arms. Yummy. All right, inhale, turn the face forward, and then come to twist. Just softly let your head dangle, lift your right sit bone, Come up to a seated position, both pose. So you can bring your hands behind your knees. I'll do it to the side so you can keep seeing me. And then you come into both pose, find a balance. Active your toes, activate your toes. That's it. With or without your weights, rowing both. I'm gonna do one weight because my lower back is sensitive. So I'm just gonna, because of all the garden work, yes. This is good though, we're working the core. If you have a very sensitive lower back, maybe opt to keep your feet on the floor and just see where you can go here. This is also fine. Or you can also choose to just do the legs. So you basically split, split the exercise not into a compound, into full body, but half body workout. That's okay, I said one minute. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, that's it. Four, three, two, one. Come all the way to your back and then bring the weight onto your tummy. One or two. We go two up, two down. So it's up, up, hop down, hover. Up, one minute here. Maybe close your eyes. Feel the back line of your body work. So your hamstrings, your butt muscles, your lower back muscles. Come a little higher. Press into the ball of your big toe. So the knees, yeah, track parallel in the direction of the toes when you lift your hips. Yes. Halfway, keep going, keep going. Keep moving, keep breathing, keep focusing. Those sensations in the muscles, it's a good feeling. Get a little bit of a burn, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. Almost there, almost there, 10 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, go for it. Two up, two down, one more time. All the way up, all the way down. Give it a little rest, bring the weights next to your body and then lift your legs up towards the sky take a deep breath in hover one leg bicycle sit cross sit ups if you want you can bend the knees instead it's a little bit easier one minute to go come on twist the opposite armpit towards the opposite knee let the elbow stay behind so rather than focusing on pressing the elbow, try to press the armpit. Yeah. Find the rhythm, keep your breath part of your practice. When you notice you've lost the breath, just take a break. Find your breath and work with your breath. Halfway, come on. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. That's it. Keep breathing. 20 seconds. Lift your shoulder blades off the floor. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Head down. Hands can come under your bum. I prefer to have my hands above my head. I'll tell you why. So, when I place my bum and I do the leg raises, I feel I'm pressing with the hands 
and I'm not really using my core. And then when I bring my arms here, but if you have a very sensitive lower back, you might just need that support. It's okay. You can also bend the knees and then bring them back in. 30 seconds. So you tap the toes and you bring it back in. Try to keep the lower back so you're not hanging in the lower back. It's the opposite. You're actually trying to, to keep that feeling that somebody is punching you in the tummy. You try to keep that. And that's how you imprint the back oh, onto the mat. Yes. Five. So here I feel I'm not using my hands, I'm using my core. But if it's too strong for you, just use the hands. Just wanted to explain. Four. Come on, hover a little lower. Three. Two. Knees in towards your chest. Rock and roll a little from right to left. And then take a mini break. A mini break. Soles of the feet to touch. Right hand to your belly. Left hand to your heart. <sighs> Check in. Breathe. We're not there yet, we're not there yet, we're not there yet, but we'll be... The finish line is in sight. Got the whole left side to go, so recover here. Give yourself some kind words, some compliments. It's your inner drive, your inner coach. Yeah. Alright, knees in. Rock and roll, forward and back. Rearrange your weights to the top of your mat. We'll meet in downward facing dog in around six rounds of breath. So you can even flow through a full vinyasa flow if you want to. We'll meet in down dog. Really reset your mind. I'm just changing around so I can see you. Left leg up, three legged dog. Breathe in. Knee to your armpit, hold, elevate it ten times. To the wrist, to the armpit, one. Breathe out, two, three, four, nice. Halfway, five, you can drop the right knee. Four, three, two, three-legged dog, breathe in, lengthen. Mountain climbers, last one, 30 seconds, up we go. 30 seconds, up we go. Run it out, run it out. Bring your shoulders above your wrist. Very often, people are somewhere here. Bring your shoulders above your wrist, full range of movement. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Feel the sweat? Breathe. That's it, press into the hands. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, downward facing dog, left leg, left leg up towards the sky. Breathe in to the right arm, hold. Flatten your right foot, hover the foot, reach to the right. 15, 14, yeah, work for it. 10, 9, 8, flex the foot, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Hand down, leg up, come on, we can do this together. Stay with it, step the foot in between your hands. Find your weight, bring it to heart center. Fabulous work. Take a deep breath in here. Sigh it out. With bicep curls, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, single leg to dasana. Lift the knee in, off we go. Kick it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Fabulous. Keep the focus. Five. Hold it for a second and bend. Hold it for a second and bend. Two. Hands to heart center. Fly it out. Find your balance. Pull with the arms. 15. 14. Back toes are active. Your right toes are super active. We can see the finish line. Keep moving. 
I know, maybe you're getting a little tired. Come on, work through it. Yeah, breathe. Fix. Five. Four. Three. We're in this together. Come on. Two. Slowly step back. Take a deep breath in. Open up a warrior two legs. Hands to shoulders. Lift your chest. Check the safety of your left knee. Take a deep breath in. Off we go. Come on, we're almost there. I know. It's going to feel so good when it's all over. Keep the knee tracking in the direction of the second toe. Yes. Awesome. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in and then turn into your star pose. Both ways for you in your right hand. Off we go. Swings. 20. 19. 18. 17. Woo! Yes, 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 it's Monday. Come on. Monday motivation day. It's a day to set an intention, to create the stage of your day. Strong body, strong mind. Nine. Eight. Healthy body. Good. Healthy mind. Yes. Five. Four. Three. Two. Divide the weight. Sit down and lift your heels. Pulse. Yes, I know. I know. I know. I know. Shake your legs. Feel the shakes. Five. Four. Three. Two. Heels down, stand up, turn your toes in, bend halfway or all the way. Just check it out. If you feel dizzy, stay here, recover. If you're okay, come all the way down. Either a handstand or whatever you want to do, a little bit of free play, or it's quite nice here to walk your hands to one foot, to one leg, and hang out there a little. Relax your head, maybe close your eyes, play or stretch here, yeah, good. If your feet are up, please bring them back down, inhale, together, halfway lift. Find your weight. We will move immediately to star. So turn the toes out, bend the knees, star pose. Stand up. Yes. To the left, warrior two. Reverse warrior. One time only. So we can transition to a lunge pose. Lift your heel, bring your weights a little bit higher. Hop, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. This is your last pitch. After this, we're going to wind down. Give it your roll. And up. Or you can use this 
time without weights to do a, a wheel, a full wheel, if that is in your, if that is in your system. Come on, 10, 9, pointers, right toes, press into the left heel, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, change sides, come on, this is it, this is it, 15, 14, point the toes, a little higher, press into that right heel, work it, work the bum, work the hamstring, lower back, 8, 7, Six, five, if you're in full wheel, start to slowly come down, three, two, all right, bridge pose, take a deep breath in, drop the weights to the side, one vertebra at a time, so it's your upper back, middle back, lower back, knock your knees in towards each other, and go, oh, that was awesome. Feel alive, we're going to stretch a little, wind down, so close your eyes and start to come into a softer kind of energy, nurturing, it's all nurturing, you're all, you know, taking care of your, and all these exercises taking care of your body, of your mind. Alright, happy baby pose. You can use a belt if you want to, or you can hold on to the back of the knees, Keep the pelvis on the floor, you can hold on to the ankles or maybe bring the feet to the pinky side, uh, hands to the pinky side of the feet. Close your eyes and lengthen the back of your neck. It's almost like you want to make a double chin. You want to have two chins. Yeah. Five more rounds of breath here. Eagle your left leg over your right, so your left leg is in front, and drop the body, the lower body, to the left. Keep both shoulder blades on the floor. your legs in the other direction. You can also bring the toes to the floor and then bring the legs to the side. Or, ah, nice. Oh, this is what my lower back needs. Soften the skin on your face. Bring your intention back into your mind. Why did you come to your mat? And can your actions of your mat also correspond with what you want for yourself? A healthy body, come back to center. <clears throat> Bring your leg to the wall or come into a plow pose. Just be gentle with the neck here. So plow pose is where you bring your feet over your head. You can support your back a little bit. You can also come into a shoulder stance or you can just stay where you are in leg of the wall with the bum to the floor. It's hard to breathe here. You can even hear it's hard to talk here. So you feel a little bit as if it's like, oh, it's tricky to breathe. It's very good for your thyroid. Big stretch. Slowly roll out. You can even help your hips to find the floor. Soft back bend. Really soft opening in a <clears throat> bridge pose. Um, 
arms can be above your head, really nice and soft. You can even, rather than going to the maximum height of your bridge, find half bridge, half height, and then swing. Swing your bridge a little from right to left. And then bring the hips back down to the floor nice and slow. Give yourself a loving hug and tell yourself, well done for kickstarting your day like this. Well done for coming to your mat. You are amazing. And then slowly come to a child, uh, sorry, a shavasana. <clears throat> Extend the legs along the floor. <clears throat> Maybe if you have something that you want to put over your eyes, you can let some, something rest on your eyes while you lie back and rest. <clears throat> Shavasana is important, so if you feel that you want to give yourself a little longer, or maybe even meditate after class, maybe put your timer on five minutes now. And then it's totally fine if you don't even say goodbye, if you just prefer to stay in Shavasana and stay in your own private space, and you're on your mats. This is also a beautiful time to meditate. This is also a lovely time <clears throat> to maybe diarize and write something down that you want to achieve this week or that you want to work on this week, that intention. My intention for this week is patience. Actually a mix of persistence and patience. The not giving up, the sticking to your plan, the trusting that you're on the right path and then through that through that process also practicing patience because things don't just happen overnight. Maybe I have a totally different intention. That is the beauty. Intention setting is very private. I'm going to leave you there in Shavasana. So I'm going to close our practice by placing my hands in front of my heart, acknowledging your beautiful beings, acknowledging your energy and your effort. We are in this together with a grateful heart from my heart to your heart. Namaste.